Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 23rd, 2024. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to a quick space weather update for you today. Starting out here looking at Lasco 2, as we are going to observe a very large coronal mass ejection from an M9 solar flare. Amazing imagery here, Lasco 2 showing a large coronal mass ejection coming from the northern region of our sun and blasting off towards us as you can see all those little cosmic particles heading towards us instant radiation storm solar radiation and solar influx impact amazing images here shared with daily events worldwide as we did have those large sunspot regions Coming for an Earth-facing view, the same regions that produced X-class solar flares just over a week and a half ago. On the other side of the sun, they were creeping around. So we were watching and waiting for yet another solar storm. So here it is, having a look at Lasco 3, showing this coronal mass ejection. Boom. Massive coronal mass ejection. And a couple of them were thwarted our way. So we're going to have to wait and see once everything gets updated here. Wider spectrum Lasco 3 showing this large coronal mass ejection right there. So current space weather conditions, we are under R3. If a, a strong radio blackout impacts are expected, high frequency radio communications, loss of radio, and as well solar radiation storm impacts. So high-flying aircraft, high, al high latitudes may be exposed to elevated radiation risk. As well, we are under a geomagnetic storm impact, as we are expecting the coronal hole wind stream from that large coronal hole. Current solar winds are coming in at 401 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see here, spiking up into the M9 range, and then just recently another M6 solar flare. So four M-class solar flares over the past 12 hours. Proton flux rising right up into the S2 range. Geomagnetic activity was up and hopping down now, but will be hopping up yet again during this solar event. Let's have a look at our sun here for the, for the past 48 hours. That dark region there is the coronal hole set to increase our solar winds. At the same time, we have that fiery region in the northern part of our sun that has now produced three M-class solar flares. And we've got one in the equatorial region, Earth-facing right now. So please, heads up everybody, and stay tuned. Subscribe to Daily Events Worldwide, and we'll see you for tonight's update. Full update on earthquakes, weather, volcanoes, and of course... Space weather, our sun today. I want to thank you all for almost 71,000 followers worldwide. Much love, truly grateful to have you along for this journey. And please, if you enjoy this information shared and you feel that other people should know about it, all you have to do is like, comment, and share. Leave you here looking at the large sunspot region that produced the M-Class solar flares. Much love, everybody, and enjoy your day. We'll see you for tonight's update. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do.